wishbone Watch this show dreaming of Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another Okay, what we have here is an empty bowl, people. Uh, just get a little bit of condensation off the side of the bowl. <laughs> and, uh, hey, I got my tongue stuck. Uh, help, you can't do it. Gosh, what does a guy have to do to get a drink around here? Ah, perfect time. I'm thirsty. You guys want something to drink? Sure. Okay, I'll get the glasses. I'll take water, no ice. Come here. Why did Jeff Kelly have to sprain his knee? Just when our championship game was coming up. Now we don't have a leading scorer. And I don't have a bowl. Hello? How are we ever going to take on the blast without Jeff? They're the best soccer club in the whole state. Well, you guys have gotten a lot better ever since David's dad took over coaching. Yeah, but without Jeff, it's hopeless. Hopeless? Have you ever tried to get a bowl out from under a cabinet with your nose? <laughs> Attention, everyone! I need a human retriever! Hey, I can play. You know, my team was undefeated last year. And I did lead the team in breakaway goals. Excuse me! I'm the one who can use some help here. <laughs> Sam, we need a forward who can score against the blast. Hmm. Joe, she is a good player, and her team was undefeated last year. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> hmm. Why did I decide to lick the dish in that direction? Well, we can talk to my dad, okay? What about our team, Joe? Remember? You get the dish, I get what's in it. Let's practice that. Okay, but when can we talk to your dad? How about Monday after school? Okay. And when's the next practice? On Tuesday. I'm losing hope. Someone notice me! Oh, poor Wishbone. You lost your ball, didn't you, boy? Oh, you could say that. Thirsty? Oh, oh, am I thirsty? <laughs> oh, and uh, hungry, too. I'm thinking a tuna fish sandwich on wheat bread, just a touch of mayonnaise. Oh. Here you go, boy. Mm, but this will be fine. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, Sam to the rescue. Champion of the underdog. Giving water to the thirsty. Hope to the hopeless. Uh, hey, that reminds me of the story of Joan of Arc. When France was thirsting for freedom and had almost given up hope, Joan of Arc led them to victory over the English. She saved the day way back in 1429. The American author Mark Twain was inspired to write a book about her nearly 400 years later. He mixed some history with his own imagination to tell his version of her life story. According to Twain, Joan is a simple shepherdess who can neither read nor write. Her best friend is Louis de Camp. One cold winter's night, Joan and Louis are with family and friends when a stranger comes to their door. Woo! That's cold! The stranger is a ragged road straggler, a victim of France's constant wars with the English. It is a blessed thing to have a fire like that on such a night. And rich food. Loving friends to talk with. God help the homeless and those that must trudge the roads in this weather. Sit down. Oh, I know that trick. Did you hear me? Sit down, I say. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Father, he is hungry. I can see it. We're being eaten out of house and home by his like, and I'll endure it no more. 
He has the face of a rascal. Anyhow. I know not if he is a rascal, but he is hungry, father. Let him have my porridge. I do not need it. Rascals are not entitled to help from honest people. Joan! Joan, you'd better talk to your dad. I'll watch the rascal. Soon, she talked her father into letting the stranger stay and be fed. And once he was full, he kept us up half the night with his stories about the war. Thank you, madam. Little maid, you have brought me from death to life this night. If only France could be brought out of the grip of death that this war holds on it. What France needs is another hero. Someone who has the courage to stand up against impossible odds. Louis, you're my best friend. We've sat under this tree and told each other many secrets. Now, I must tell you something I've not told another soul. Great! You know I love a secret. France will be rescued and made great again. Mm, but don't our soldiers run away when they see the English coming? Our soldiers will soon trample the English underfoot. We will face the enemy. And we will win. How? I will lead them. I am the one who will lead the armies of France to victory. Joan, don't you think you're a little young for this? I know. I'm only a child. That's right. Don't you think you ought to talk to your dad first? No. I am going to talk to the king. Wow! Aren't you just a little bit scared? I am. But I won't let fear keep me from doing the right thing. Okay. I'm with you, Joan. This may be the last time that we ever sit together under this tree. No matter what happens, let's never forget this place. Our place. Well, Samantha, I've just come on as coach, and I'm not sure if the league will allow for a new player to be put on the roster this late in the season. Well, what about a dog? Hey, check out this action. Uh, Dad, the league rules state that a tournament captain can allow roster changes if they are submitted in writing in advance. Well, that's it. Sign me up. I'm ready. Well, the tournament doesn't even start until Friday. Well... Dad... She's good. She really is. And we're not going to be able to take on the blast without some help at forward. They're awesome. Excuse me, awesome? Did you just see me with that frisbee? Now that was awesome. It's true, we don't have a replacement for Jeff Kelly. And with him out, well, even though we were just beginning to look like a team, it's going to be hard. Excuse me, Coach Barnes, but couldn't you at least give her a chance to try out with our team? Well, we have one more practice session before Friday's game. Thanks, Mr. Barnes. All right, Sam. Don't worry. I'll coach you through this one. We'll make a great team. Just like Joan and Louis. Joan and Louis made it to the king's palace, but the king of France tried to hide himself when Joan came to meet him. He had heard of her claims that she was destined to save France. He wanted to see what kind of power this simple farm girl possessed. I must ask the king for a proper army so that I might defeat the English. This is the big time, Joan. What have you gotten us into? I really feel underdressed for the occasion. <sighs> bow, Joan, bow. Talk about faux pas. They cut off the heads that don't bow before the king. You're not the king. What? What are you saying? Look at the man. He's wearing a crown. He's sitting on a throne. Does this give you a little hint? Your Royal Highness, Please excuse my friend. It's her first time in the big city. She's a little confused. <laughs> I... Joan, not that way. Joan, we're not supposed to leave the carpet. God of grace, give you long life, my dear king. 
You have found me, even though I'm wearing this disguise. A great force is at work here. What is it that you need from me, my dear girl? I need an army of your best men to lead into battle against our English oppressors. <laughs> yep, you're right. He is a king. I can tell by the shoes. No question about it, these are king shoes. A maid who can find a king hidden in a crowd must have been sent here for some greater purpose. It shall be as you ask. All right, Joan! We're on our way! Now it's time for Sucker by Samantha! Okay, Sam, show us what you got. Okay, Sam, watch me. Feet on the ball. That's good. That's good. Not bad for just two feet. Magic, magic, right around. Come on, gather around. So, how'd I do? Sam, you're in. Yes. yes. And the blast better watch out! Yes. Yeah, right here! Yes. Right here! Yeah. Okay, yeah. a team is born. I'm going to do what? Well, I don't see the big deal. I mean, Coach Barnes let me try out of practice last night, and I did fine. That's a lot of pressure. I'm just trying to help out my friends. That's all. Aren't you scared? Not really. I mean, it's just a game. A championship game. And the Blasts always win. The magic is going to get killed. Uh, come on in, it's open. If you're not afraid of the watchdog on duty. Ellen? In the study. I'm here with the new star player for the magic. Congratulations, Sam. Are you excited about the game? Um, I think so. I mean, I was excited. Now I'm kind of nervous. Well, that's only natural. Yeah, it's not easy to step in at the last minute. That really takes guts. I didn't think it was going to be such a big deal. But now that everyone at school is talking about it, the more they talk, the more nervous I get. Well, you volunteered because you're a good player and because your friends need you, right? Right. Well, that's all that counts. That's right. The athlete must not allow the public to disturb her concentration. But I'm afraid I'm going to let everyone down. I know how you feel. You see, I was on a softball team when I was in college, and during my senior year, it was the last game of the season, game was tied, bases were loaded, and guess who steps up to the plate? Yours truly. I was so nervous. Well, what happened? Well, after two strikes, I hit a home run and we won the game. Wow, how exciting. So you see, even if you're scared, just concentrate on playing the game. And remember, win or lose, we're all very proud of you. That's right. Go, Sam. OK, well. I guess I better get ready for the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. You're Bye. gonna be great. Go. I know it. Go. Bye. She's so nervous. <sighs> I know. That's oh, just gonna be fine. Are you guys coming to the game? We wouldn't miss it. We'll be there. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to say something. Lead the charge and win the battle, Sam. <laughs> My lady, a message. It's Lord Talbot and his English forces. Our troops are being beaten back. If there are a dozen of you who are not cowards, it is enough. There are a hundred of us who will fight to the death for you. No, for France. Ah! Hey, thank you very much. Thank we you. We will carry them by storm. Follow me, French hearts. Follow me. The battle has begun! Hello, Sammy. Yeah, a girl. 
Take it all the way, Sam! Take it to the outside, Sam! Go to the corner! Shoot, baby, shoot! So close. Victory is almost ours. I can taste it. years, the English will not rise from this blow. Oh, friends, friends, do you know? Do you comprehend? France is on the way to be free. It would have never been, but for Joan of Arc. <laughs> You did it, Joan. Okay, everybody, listen up. Now, the game ended in a one-to-one -one tie. We're gonna have a shootout to determine the winner. Great shot, Sam! Yeah. Yeah. Joe, now you're in goal. You just react to the ball, okay? All right? Right here, everybody. We are the yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yes! Is it overtime or, or, or a shootout or what? It's a shootout, I think. What's a shootout? Well, each team gets five penalty kicks against the other team's goalie, uh -huh. so the team with the most shots in goal wins. Oh, oh this is nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> 
game. Good game. That's some new guy you got there. Yes. <laughs> you played a good game, young lady. Problem is, you weren't on the official roster. Well, sure she is. This is Samantha Kepler. She took over for Jeff Kelly, who's out with a sprained knee. I submitted her name in writing to the tournament committee yesterday. Well, that's the problem. Any changes to the roster have to be made 48 hours in advance. She's not a legal member of the team. And she scored the winning goal. <laughs> 48 hours? Oh, come on, man. We won the game fair and square. Be a good sport. Well, we'll see. I plan to file a protest to the league, and the board will decide. Good game. Good game, everybody. Gosh, one minute you feel like a hero, the next minute you're down in the dumps. Looks like the battle's not over yet. Joan led the French army to victory, but in the process, she was captured by the English. France was on its way to freedom, but Joan was a prisoner of war. After an unfair trial, she was sentenced to death by her enemies. Louis, my dear friend. Joan, are you okay? Are you being treated well? These English dogs tried to stop me from seeing you, but I wouldn't let them. It is so good to see you. Hmm. You know I am about to die. I know. I can't bear it. I don't want you to die. But soon France will be free. Though they take my life, my country will be free. What can I do for you, my brave friend? I have sent for you to write a letter to my mother and father. What should I say? Tell them not to worry about me. I am at peace. Do you know what I am thinking of, Louis? I am thinking of our special place in Domremy. I am thinking of our beautiful tree. Let's imagine that we're there now, safe under its branches. I'll never forget you, Joan. I'll tell your story. I'll tell it to the whole world. was burned at the stake. There was no one who could help her. But a beautiful story has grown from her ashes. The story of an extraordinary person. A person of courage and hope. A young girl who brought France its freedom. All right, folks. Uh, we'd like to thank you for coming. We'd like to get started now if we could. Uh, you take a seat, please, Coach Barnes, Ms. Kepler. <clears throat> Thanks for coming. Coach Barnes, do you have a response to the protest filed by the blast coach? Yes, I do. First of all, I'd like to say that I tried to follow the spirit of the rule by submitting the player's name in advance. Second, I'd like to yield to Samantha Kepler, who's asked to speak on behalf of our team. Go ahead, Ms. Kepler. During this past week, I decided to do something that was pretty hard for me. I had never played in a boys' soccer game before, and some people didn't think I could do it. I didn't know if I could either, really, but I knew I wanted to help out my friends. We came together as a team. Isn't that what soccer is supposed to teach us? Our whole team won that game, not just me team sport. Well, that may be, young lady, but you were the one who scored your team's only goal in the game, and you were the one who made the winning penalty kick. Do you mean to suggest that this player who up until now had only participated in girls' recreational soccer is the reason we won the game? I am only suggesting that this league has rules, and they should be obeyed, especially during tournament play. Gentlemen, this board will determine what rules apply here. Now, Coach Barnes, it's obvious to me that you never intended to break any rules. 
It's also obvious to me that even though you are a new coach, you are a good coach who knows how to go out and recruit talented and articulate players. However, this league is bound by the strict rules that it has established for tournament play. And since Miss Kepler did score the winning goal, I must recommend to the board that this protest be sustained and that the tournament victory be awarded to the blast. Finally, I would like to invite Miss Kepler to return to our league next season. I think the outcome might be different. That concludes this meeting. <laughs> hey, have I told you how proud I am of you, Sam? Thanks, Dad. Yeah, me too. Come on, guys. Hey, look. Sorry we lost our case with the league. It's okay. Yeah, don't hey, worry look. about it. Yeah. We won that shootout three to two. That yeah. score never changed no matter what they do to us. But best of all, the magic ended their loser streak to the league champs. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Sam. Thanks. <laughs> We're all really proud of you. That's right, Sam. Hey, uh, Walter, yeah. I think we need to celebrate, don't you? Well, definitely. I think we need a pizza party. Oh, I second the motion. I third it. Okay, what do you like? See, you can lose a battle and still win the war. Did someone just say pizza?